One of the questions that we always have in breast cancer adjuvant therapy is what are the long-term toxicities of whatever treatment we're doing? When the ATAC trial was reported in about 2005, it showed that the aromatase inhibitors were somewhat better than tamoxifen in postmenopausal women as far as decreasing their long-term risk of distant recurrence. That benefit, however, was relatively minor at 3 to 4 percent, and in fact, the latest update of the ATAC trial at about year 9 did not show any survival benefit comparing the aromatase inhibitor arm to the tamoxifen arm. One of the worries with the aromatase inhibitors is that, as opposed to tamoxifen, aromatase inhibitors are mildly anti-bone, probably less so than its reputation, but it's something that we all worry about. We often or will always do a bone density at about the time we start aromatase inhibitors, and we'll follow the bone density every couple of years. If the patient on day one has osteoporosis, to some extent it depends on the degree of osteoporosis as to what the best choice of therapy would be. If it's mild osteoporosis, then one can add a bisphosphonate such as Boniva or Actinel, and that will help improve the bone density and pretty much negate the anti-bone effect of the aromatase inhibitors. On the other hand, if the, if the osteoporosis is fairly severe, one would probably choose tamoxifen as the initial adjuvant uh, anti-estrogen therapy rather than an aromatase inhibitor. We would also plan to follow the bone density every couple of years and obviously adjust any bone therapy to any change in the bone density. Thankfully, those changes tend to be pretty slow and for the most part, not major. One of the trials that's being looked at now is the question, are 10 years of an aromatase inhibitor better for some patients than five years? And here the anti-bone effects become much more of an issue when one is talking about 10 years of therapy rather than five. But for the most part, five years of an aromatase inhibitor does not have a major impact on bone density, and that can be treated by bisphosphonates if that becomes an issue. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.